business and the businessman pursues. Dude. <laughs> <laughs>
but this buffoon let it happen. There are new revelations about the meeting between Donald Trump Jr. and a group of Russians. Meanwhile, President Trump and his thugs are cracking under pressure, but they think they're pretty clever. Meanwhile, Kelly and Conway is queuing up the cue cards. No, we don't have that yet. Okay, whatever. <laughs> Look on little Donnie's face is one of confusion. He doesn't know the definition of collusion. Uh, but I didn't know who I was meeting beforehand. Never heard of the person. Never got the information until they were in the room. Where it happened, the room where it happened, the room where it happened. Lots of people in the room where it happened, the room where it happened, the room where it happened. My God. There is nothing there. Only half the Russian Kremlin and a dumb billionaire. This goon made it happen. He was also in the room where it happened. The exact transaction as it was laid uh, out. Excuse me for interrupting, Jay, but we have some breaking news. We've just received an updated list of who was actually in the room during Donald Jr.'s meeting with the Russians. This is going to take a while. So forgive the slight disruption, <laughs> but you finally got caught. And since there's been some light corruption, there's some questions that we've got. Like your daddy, I assume he was aware of the room. Were these other Russian luminaries there in the room? Joseph Stalin? In the room. How about Putin? In the room. How about Anna Kornikova, Woody Allen, and Rasputin? How about Ivan the Terrible? Yeah. Mikhail Baryshnikov? Boris and Natasha? Mila Kunis? How about Gorbachev? Catherine the Great? Great Minister, Minister of Russia? Anastasia? I can't do it anymore. I play that soundtrack so much. What did you think? Are you serious? It was good. Okay. If you want to talk to him, you can go through me. <laughs> Why? <laughs> <laughs> do all, all you because you don't believe it. Belong. See how he was offended by that? <laughs> anyway. I like how this is like so tame compared to Trump now. Yeah. They're like, um, your your son met with some Russians and probably may mess with his election. And I was like, Trump is defunding the, the postal office, but we won't defund the police. You can't mail a letter, but you can take a bullet to the brain. Yeah. They hate our country so much. Dude. <laughs> it's frustrating. It's because it's like, there's so much potential in our country to be so great. But it's not right now. Well, I don't want to say I hate America completely. I hate current America. Yeah, but see, I hate Trump's America. America is the America that was always there. It just was hidden better. But do you okay? <laughs> do you think that we don't have the America doesn't have the potential to be a much better country? Can a lot of people die first? Especially the hateful ones. And especially the Karens. <laughs> I was legit watching these people who were at his rally, like, while I was going to the bathroom, because, you know, that's where anything involving Trump does, belongs. So I was taking a shit, 
you know, listen to Donald Trump's followers. And they were like, I'm not wearing a mask because I have a hard time understanding people when they talk behind a mask. So, that's why you're not wearing one? <laughs> mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Or how about the guy who said, God has me. He'll take care of me. And if I die, well, then I die. Can we just, like, really, like... Those people have always existed, and they've always had a lot of power in this country, and it's only now that everybody's, like, seeing it for what it really is. And that's why, like, everybody's, like, pissed off. Because it's, I'm like, pissed off, And too. it's, like... I don't even want to say America has the potential to be great because honestly, I feel like maybe after our generation is gone, maybe then it'll be great because it'll be Julius's and Clara's generation where they're like, this was all fucking stupid and I don't understand why anyone would ever act like this. Like, I don't think we're part of the problem, but I think a lot of the people that like are around now are. Everything needs to be torn down. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But, like, when you have an electoral college that's there just to make choices for the American people because it feels we're too stupid to do it ourselves, and then they fuck us by giving us Donald Trump because he did not actually have the majority vote, then, yeah, that's a problem. And that's always been there. It's not like it just popped up because he happened to be here. It's just now people are seeing it for what it is. And the people who were racist now are like, oh, well, I can be racist. And I don't feel bad about it anymore because the president's racist. So let's be honest with ourselves. The country has always been like this. They just kept it in, like, the dark and didn't just shout it out. But now that Donald Trump is spewing all of that hate out of his mouth, so is everybody else. Because they're like, they're justified. I guess. Because the person holding the highest office is saying exactly what they're thinking. And when people can go around shooting protesters when they cross state lines with a gun illegally driven by their mother because they're little bitches and they can't drive themselves, fuck you. <laughs> then, yeah, there's a problem. Because that person can just walk away. And unarmed people of color can't. And that's always been a problem. That is not new. I agree. The only thing that's new is we get our information faster through our phones. And we have someone in charge who's just as hateful as all of those people. David's like, but it was so peaceful before when I lived in Oak Park and everybody looked like me. <laughs> and Brandy's like Brandy's like yeah the same old park that looks at me funny because I walk into a Trader Joe's and oh look at that cute little Mexican family who doesn't belong <laughs> can we help you with something are you lost <laughs> <laughs> two things one that lady didn't say shit to you <laughs> she said it with her eyes, let's be honest. You and really two, don't think we get looked at differently when we go We do. Here? Why did I get so I pissed know. off that woman and like stepped between and gave you give her the whole, you know, stink eye? That's how you communicate Oak Park. <laughs> That's how you communicate Oak Park. <laughs> gave her the stink eye. <laughs> we communicate very differently down here. <laughs> I know. He <laughs> like this. <laughs> and now we know why David never won a fight in his life. He's like, I That's know. not true. <laughs> it's really wrong you to see. I wanted to see you get offended. <laughs> I'm offended. I'm in the video now. Like, I'm kind of like, come subscribe to the subscriber. You go to the subscriber drive. Poop cookies. We have a Twitter, we have a Facebook. We don't have a Discord, and we'll see you guys later. <laughs>